Spot the Bunny, story by Mary Elizabeth Moss, illustrations by Timothy James. Princess Bot lived in a castle in the magical kingdom of Goldman Meadow with her parents, King Rabbit and Queen Bunny, and her three little brothers, Prince Spot, Prince Tot, and Prince Scott. Bot was a beautiful little bunny with soft pink fur, big brown eyes, and a fluffy white tail. She smelled like flowers and strawberries, and her laughter sounded like a song and made everyone around her smile. Princess Bot also had a special gift. Her magical ears could make tears disappear and sadness go away. Bot loved her family and her castle and knew someday she would also have a best friend. She wished for a little girl to play with, to make smile, and mostly to love. One day, when Bot was playing in her room, Queen Bunny stopped by and said, Princess Bot, there is a little girl in a faraway land who needs a friend. Oh, I will be your friend, exclaimed Bot. Please, may I go live with her? Yes, Bot. You will travel a very long distance and learn along the way about how to be a good friend, a best friend explained Queen Bunny. What does it mean to be a best friend? How will I learn? questioned Bot. A best friend must be kind, brave, and share with others. But you will learn how to be a best friend on your journey, said Queen Bunny. I can't wait, said Bot excitedly. Early the next morning, Bot jumped out of bed and packed her backpack. King Bunny gave Bot a map, Queen Bunny gave her snacks for her journey, and her three brothers waved goodbye and wished her well. Bot stepped out of the castle and hopped off to find her new friend. As she made her way through the purple hills, Bot heard crying nearby. Who is crying? wondered Bot. I will find them and help them, because a best friend must be kind and help a friend when they are sad. Bot hopped closer and closer to the crying, but all she could see were the rolling purple hills. Hello? Is anyone there? How can I help you? asked Bot. Suddenly, one of the hills came to life. It wasn't a hill after all. It was a giant. The giant surprised little Bot, and she started to hop away. Oh, please don't go. I need a friend right now. My name is Gruff the Giant. Why are you crying, Gruff the Giant? asked Bot. I was running in the blue forest and stubbed my toe on a tree. It hurts so much. Gruff the Giant lifted his ginormous foot and put his stinky toe right in Bot's face. His toe was almost as big as Bot. Oh no, don't worry, Gruff. I will make it feel better. Bot wrapped Gruff's toe in her magical ears, and his toe felt better right away. Oh, thank you, little Bot. You are a very kind bunny. Good luck on your journey, and be careful in the blue forest, said Gruff the Giant. Up. Bot waved goodbye and started toward the blue forest. Hopping all day had made her tired, but she had to keep traveling. Bot arrived at the edge of the blue forest and watched as the big tree swayed back and forth. She was scared of the dark forest, but the little girl in the faraway land needed her. Bot took a deep breath and bounded bravely into the darkness. As she hopped along, she thought she saw tiny yellow eyes looking at her. She could hear noises coming from the trees and started hopping faster and faster. Suddenly, eight yellow eyes were right in front of her. Who's there? I'm not scared of you, Bot shouted with all the courage she could muster. The yellow eyes stepped out of the shadows and into the light. Hello, brave Bot. Don't be scared. 
King Rabbit said you'd be traveling through the Blue Forest and sent us to help you. I am Molly the Monkey, and these are my brothers, Mac, Martin, and McGill. You have been a very brave buddy, Blot. We will show you how to get out of the Blue Forest. Come on, you're almost there. Mac, Martin, and Magoo swung from tree to tree, leading the way, while Molly helped Bot hop along the forest floor below them. As they reached the edge of the Blue Forest, the sun started to shine brightly. We're here! exclaimed Molly the monkey as her tummy began to rumble. And so did Mac's tummy, and Martin's, and Magoo's. And then Bot's little tummy rumbled too. The rumbling was so loud it woke up all the birds in the trees. It must be time for a snack, said Bot. Bot reached into her backpack and started to nibble on her treats, but realized Molly, Mac, Martin, and Magoo's tummies were growling too. They would have to swing through the trees all the way home to get snacks. She looked down at the food in her hand and had an idea. Would you like to share my snacks? asked Bot. All four monkeys smiled at little Bot. Yes, please, Bud. Oh, thank you, Bud. These are yummy trees, Bud. Thank you for sharing with us, Bud. You are a very good friend, said Molly. They finished their snacks, and Bot put the much lighter pack on her back. It was time for Bot to find the little girl who needed a friend. She checked her map and knew she was almost there. Molly, Mac, Martin, and Magoo stayed in the trees and waved goodbye as Bot hopped away. Off in the distance, Bot could hear children laughing and saw a playground with lots of little boys and girls. Maybe that's where my new friend is playing, thought Bot. She hopped over to the playground with the swings, slide, and monkey bars, but all these little boys and girls already had friends. No one noticed Bot, and no one asked to be her friend. Little Bot had just learned to be brave, and so she sat down on a swing by herself. She had traveled so far to find her friend. Where was she? Bot swung back and forth on the swing and thought about her brothers, Prince Spot, Prince Tot, and Prince Scott, and how she wished they were here to play. She also remembered Gruff the Giant, and Molly, Mac, Martin, and Magoo, and how they would love the monkey bars. Bot sat in the swing and stared at the ground. Just as she was wondering when she would find her friend, two sparkly, colorful tennis shoes appeared in front of her. Bot looked up and saw two big brown eyes looking back. Hi, my name is Ella. What's your name? My name is Bot. Why are you sitting all alone on the swing? I'm looking for a little girl who needs a friend, but I can't find her. Well, I, I need a friend. Will you, will you be my friend? I would love to be your friend. I will be your best friend. Bot hopped off the swing and into Ella's arms and gave her a great big hug. Just then, Ella's mommy called for her and said it was time to go home. Come on, Bot. You can live with me, said Ella. That night, Ella's mommy tucked both Ella and Bot into bed. Mommy turned off the light and said, Good night, Ella. Good night, Bot. I love you. I love you, Mommy, said Ella. Then Ella turned to Bot. I love you too, Bot. And the two were best friends forever. The end. Show me. Who is that? You. Yeah, that's you. And Bot. Yeah, it looks like you. It's you and Bot as a baby. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You playing? Yeah. 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 Who are you holding right now? Being your best friend isn't for the faint of heart, but finding a forever friend is worth the journey.